Then sometimes I teeth, I uh, balance very low la. And the smart tech sometimes ah, no battery so can you now. I'm now on the way to the Lokyu Toll to install the RFID. So I have registered online and fixed an appointment. I prepared the car insurance cover note and a copy of my card. Yes, I have arrived at the RFID fitment center. The verification process was very quick. So they first clean the headlamp, the surface and uh, wipe it dry. And uh, within just less than one minute, the RFID fitment is done. So they also tested the sensitivity of the RFID sticker. Ayo yo, what is this RFID? RFID is Radio Frequency Identification. So when you pass through the toll, there is a reader in the toll plaza to read the information in the RFID tag. The RFID tag in the car will have a small little chip, so it will know, and then it will deduct the amount from your touch and go e-wallet. The touch and go e-wallet? What is this? E-wallet is an app on your telephone and then you can load money into your phone. So every time you buy things, uh, you can just uh, scan 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 uh, with a code there. But in this case, the reader will read the information and then deduct from your e-wallet. Why must you use this e-wallet and this uh, RIF ID? You see, uh, every time I pass through the toll, I need to wind down the window, la, tip a bit, la, and then sometimes it says, Baki tidak mencukupi, balance is low. Uh, just because my smart tech, uh, the LCD is spoiled, la, cannot see the balance. Uh. And then uh, sometimes smart tech, uh, no battery. Very big tech, you know. Okay, okay, I get it. No problem, no problem. But uh, is it safe? Uh? People just peel the sticker and put in another car, no problem, right? If people just peel off the sticker, uh, the chip inside uh, will spoil already. So I think uh, no problem, no problem. Wow, in this case, must be very expensive. Hey, Tangga J, Macha. Now, is the pilot program is free, you know, free. I uh, just go lah, go, go. So you can do the same by registering at the Touch and Go website. The website explains what is uh, RFID and how it works. Previously, they also installed at the car windscreen, but now they stick it at a headlamp instead. So they also explain why it is the best payment option, their eligibility, and also the registration detail. Free registration is required. Please click on the link on this post. So when you receive an email, but even if you don't, try registering here. Registration is really simple. Just click on the register now and key in your Touch and Go e-wallet ID. If you do not have an e-wallet ID, you can download to your mobile phone and register one. Now once you log in, you will be required to enter your car registration details and also set an appointment for the fitment. Now as for me, I can see the progress status. I was told that it takes 24 hours for my RFID to be activated. So meanwhile, let me reload my e-wallet. So I log in to the Touch and Go e-wallet on my phone and press reload now. I choose the amount and I complete the transaction. Just a few clicks and voila, I now have 100 ringgit in my e-wallet. As I was doing this, I checked and my RFID is actually ready. That's less than an hour. So let's try the RFID. I hope it works. <laughs> So upon checking my mobile app, 2 ringgit has been deducted from my e-wallet. You can also check the uh, transaction history. This is uh, really quick and uh, super convenient for now. I was told that uh, only 100,000 users are expected for a pilot program until the end of this year. So what are you waiting for? Sikrong Sikrong Po! 